Welcome to Sports News. Bielsa Cranes have emerged the champions of the Nigerian Women's Football League, ending a 12-year wait for a league title. The Bielsa State Bay side this evening dethroned the former holders, Nasarawa Amazons, by 2-0 at the Agege Stadium in Lagos. Bielsa Queens' Izo Amakei Gray gave her side the lead in the second half, while Joy Bukiri capitalizes on Nasarawa Amazons' defense blunder to fire past keeper to make it 2-0 for the Restoration Girls. Earlier, Sunshine Queens of Akure won the third-place match, edging out Rivers Angels by a lone goal. Rivers Angels, Amichi Ojini mistakenly turns a low-cross ball into her net after eight minutes to hand Sunshine Queens the win. In the Nigeria Professional Football Match Day 5 produced two away victories and recorded a total of 10 goals earlier today. Ben Dull Insurance forced Naizo Tornadoes to a goalless draw in Mina. Despite being banished to Shogo in Oshun State, Rama Stars earned their first win of the season, beating Katsina United 2-0. In Bochi, Sunshine Stars recorded their first win of the season, defeating Wiki Tourist 1-0. Rivers United beat MFMFC by a lone goal. Inigo Rangers beat Ian Baobaba by the same margin in an Oriental Derby. In other games, Derby Stars recorded their first win of the NPFL season in style, smashing Kwara United 3-0. FC Fine Bar recorded the second away win thanks to a 1-0 victory against Kata City in Kaduna. And world number one, Novak Djokovic has claimed a record seventh Australian Open crown as he eased past Rafael Nadal 6-3, 6-2, 6-3 in his most dominant Grand Slam win over the Spaniard earlier today. The pair's 53rd tour crashed, a lot of clash, and eighth in a major final failed to live up to their great rivalry as top seed Djokovic bulldozed through the first two sets with machine-like precision. The Serb went down on his knees and shook his fists at the sky, roaring in triumph, having moved past Roger Federer and Roy Emerson's six Melbourne titles to take sole ownership of the record. Just trying to contemplate on uh, on the journey in the last 12 months because um, as Rafa, I've been through uh, a surgery and a quite a major injury myself the last couple of years. But um, I had the surgery exactly 12 months ago, and um, to be standing now here in front of you today and uh, managing to to win this title and three out of four slams is is a truly amazing. I, I'm uh, I'm speechless. Authorities in Brazil have asked thousands of people living around a dam in the town of Brumandinho to evacuate. This is at the risk of the dam giving way. Now, they say they have found water levels rising dangerously high at the dam and have orders, uh, ordered a shutdown of the town's bridges. Just days ago, a first dam in the same town ruptured, causing a sea of muddy sludge to bury the size cafeteria where workers were eating lunch and at least one bus that carried employees before engulfing buildings, vehicles and roads. So far, 366 people have been rescued, 23 of them in hospital, but many more remain missing. Rescue efforts are being hampered by the thick mud currently in the area. 20 people have been killed after two bombs exploded at a Roman Catholic church in southern Philippines. The church is located in Holo Island, where some militants are said to be active. As at the time of this report, no group has yet claimed responsibility for the attack. Eighty-one people were wounded in the attack, which happened in the country's restive south on Sunday, just six days after referendum on autonomy for the mainly Muslim region returned an overwhelming yes vote. 
The first explosion went off inside the cathedral on Jolo Island in Sulu province and was followed by a second blast outside, which was detonated as security forces raced to the scene. It is regarded as one of the deadliest attacks in recent years in a region long plagued by instability. It came amid hope and excitement about the ratification of a devolution plan that aims to bring development, jobs and peace to one of Asia's poorest and most volatile places. The government has vowed to destroy those behind the attack. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana has described the attack as dastardly and called on the local population to work with authorities to deny terrorism any victory. He has promised to use full force of the law to bring to justice perpetrators behind the attack. And the main news again. The National Judicial Council, NJC, has summoned an emergency meeting in Abuja on Tuesday over the suspension of Walter Noge as Chief Justice of Nigeria. Sources told Channels Television that neither the suspended CGN of Justice Mohammed uh, that took over from him, of, rather of Justice Mohammed that took over from him, will be allowed to preside over the meeting. And that's News at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Melissa Walker. Have a good night.